Hello, welcome back to turn 59, which is being recorded. <laughs> Sorry about last turn. Uh, right, did some summons. Venture Water has been instantly dispelled again, presumably by Pythium. Yeah, it's going to be hard to get up useful globals while we're right next to Pythium with all the pearls. And I can't really finish Pythium off because I've got too many other enemies. <laughs> but I think I kind of need to get rid of Pythium if I want to keep up globals. Um, right, what else do we do? We got, um, we've never been mind hunted at any point, not successfully. Our shieldlords always resist, which is quite, you know, good. I uh, did some augury, found nothing. I, I am just still casting this every turn. I don't see any reason not to. Uh, Bugger beasts, we protected ourselves with our domes, so that's nice. And yeah, there's a scout getting popped by mind hunt. The scouts don't last very long. Uh, we got some assassination attempts on our shieldlord then, which do not pan out very well for the assassin. Uh, the Boreal Priest unfortunately does die, which is a shame. Um, so that's over here. We had a group that's been walking around together. Uh, it's got these guys as well. They're going to kind of spread out and form a line that pushes Solaria back a bit. Uh, the actual battles aren't too consequential. There's no like huge battle. This is me breaking siege. Uh, just some basic movements. So I'll look at the map instead, I think. Um, over here we broke Siege and Bugger Beasts, and this big stack moves on to Soaked Earth, which is a bit concerning, I suppose. So that's that battle. 400 skeletons with one mage. Uh, and you can see there's some new stuff appearing on our border now as well. We've got a bunch of Ether Warriors coming down. Uh, we lost the Fort and Tarim, so that got stormed. There was, this is where the stuff was like left behind. Um, I never did Cloud Trapeze anything into this, probably should have, but we always have like zero Earth Gems because I'm constantly like scripting, well, this army at the moment, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, we defended Tenera and Urful, so these guys, oh, well, we took this and we defended this. Um, yeah, so we've, you know, stopped the push here. You can see I'm going to push them back a bit now as well. And, um... Yeah, we still got this little raider down here. I sent him down to Shepardshaven because I could see a temple, so we successfully burned down one of Maragnon's temples at least. Um, he's just kind of being annoying in this area. <laughs> um, try and distract our opponents a little bit while I'm kind of busy trying to defend against lots of people. But uh, yeah, that's it for all of the battles, really. Um, Bugger Beasts, we got some gold, 11 Death Gems and the like. More gold in Urfal, and uh, Shin has been breached. Maradon's back on it, they still haven't stormed yet though. Um, I tried to break my Elord out of this fort last turn, or the turn before, and uh, yeah, it was not very successful. I assume they'll storm it now though. I might have got a bit nervous when Vengeful went up last turn, but I was killing a few of their mages. But uh, yeah, that's gone now, so <laughs> that's that. Uh, we did get a new famous hero as well, X-Ray Specs, who went down to burn down this temple. Uh, also got Heroic Quickness, which is nice, so... A bit of a replacement for Overt Photography. Ooh, I never showed off, but uh, here's how they look now. They're a mummy. Combat stats, you know, not quite as good as they were back in the day. But uh, interesting unit now. Uh, but yeah, that's it for messages. So here's the turn. First up over here, uh, this big stack is just sitting in our old fort now, which is a bit sad. It is difficult to move through this terrain though. I think even for McClan. So I think we get a bit of warning if this starts mo mo walking towards us. So as soon as this moves down, I'm going to put all of the shields over here into forts and take the items off them and uh, gear out the shieldlords we have here, because there's quite a lot here. I think with a bunch of gear they'd probably kill quite a few sacreds. Uh, and we're still just continuing to do corpse men and a ton of cows. And whenever I have free gems I, I do a couple of other summons as well. We've got some uh, kushis and there's a few old cubes as well. I've got this guy doing spirit mastery for a bit, because why not? just want as much junk as possible um, being blockers. While well, the she lords and the Aerolies start killing stuff. We'll worry about that when it happens though. For now it's uh not, more, not walking towards us just yet. 
I'm uh, going to stick overt photography in this fort because, yeah, just in case something moves off from here now. Uh, my god is flying from Iru to Promised Land because I don't really want to be over here just yet while there's um, ritual and spells being thrown around and yeah, I'm a bit worried about him seeing my dragon on the map and trying to disease it or something. We've been hit by leprosy a few times but we keep resisting it so that's quite uh, good. But I'm just going to get out of the way for a second. Uh, this also puts him over here in case we need to use my god to help defend. Well, he might be more useful. Uh, these two groups are going to push up a little bit. So the Crusher and Three Shield Lords are going to go to Midra. These guys are moving up to Mapito. And to Dovin, we've got uh, one guy as well. I'm using filters. He's coming out to take that too. So we're pushing the line back a bit. And we should be able to get all these guys into Iru in one turn if we need to take the items off them. Um, so that's all okay. Moving some stuff to Lost, uh, Forest of the Lost. This is the best I can do. It's all I really have. It is on 20. Um, but I just put this here just to try and defend, just in case this attacks it. Um, there is a Thaumato with this, with this army. I don't think they'd be able to cross the river. But everything else would be able to, so it is technically under threat. So I just sent a little bit of stuff to try and defend it. Just trying to box this uh, squad in as much as possible. Uh, and that's, that leaves this situation. There's an awful lot of stuff adjacent to this fort now. I decided to just have everything patrol, put the PD up to 40, and the army is the same as it's been scripted. Uh, unfortunately I didn't record the last battle we had, but uh, yeah, it's the same. I do have Solar Brilliance this time, this guy will have the pearls to actually cast it. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but I figure our revenants have so much magic resistance to begin with. They're on 14 and then they'll get anti-magic, they'll be on 18, they'll probably be fine. Um, so we have tons of dust to dust spammers, a couple of geared she lords, some airlies, and 40 points of PD. So I'm just going to patrol. Um, the Ether Warrior is a bit of a wild card, but I don't think they'll make too much difference. The difficulty is that they can hit my she lords very easily, but um, yeah, hopefully it's not too much of a problem. And that is it for this turn. I think I'm still doing a bit of forging as well. So Firebrand, Ring of Regent. I need another Ring of Regent to get to my god, I think. Girdle of Might, Amulet of Anti-Magic, fire, Fireplate. And so uh, yeah, still just doing lots of summons in forts. Uh, how much stuff are we up to over here now? Let's see. Uh, almost 400 things. A lot of it is cows. A lot of it is corpse constructs. But still, you know, it's something. Getting Boreal Priests every turn to try and get more Corpse Construct uh, makers. Yeah, but that's how things look at the moment. Just need to push Solaria back and then finish off this and we'll have a bit more breathing room. We can actually make plans then, I think. But uh, for now, that's how things look. So fingers crossed everything goes okay and I don't regret patrolling against a bunch of Ether Warriors. <laughs> But uh, what are the odds that my she lords all run up and get insta -gibbed? Pretty low, right? That was 1059. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello, welcome back. Uh, we got the conjuration done. Okay. So I can start saving up some death gems now, and I guess trying to empower someone to do Tartarians. We still generate tons of death gems. We're on about 20 per turn still, even after losing a bunch of provinces. So, I mean, yeah, we'll give it a shot, why not? It'll take a few turns to get up enough gems to empower someone, but I'll try and play with it. Uh, anyway, I'll try and get Alteration next. I'm doing a lot of research at the moment. Might not be too long. Uh, we resisted some mine hunts, did some summons, Bog of Beasts, we blocked a spell with the dome, which is nice. Uh, Scythia, we got attacked by Hawks and defended easily. Witch Haven then. So we saw Mick Clan teleporting his head into the Springhawk and Titan throne, or Aninaki, I think it is, yeah. Um, so he has up Soul Drain, and also Soul Vortex. It also looks like he's been empowering himself or something. His, uh, his Astral skill is now base 5, which is unfortunate. <laughs> Can't uh, just magic duel him anymore.
But so uh, yeah, he's got a Ringo of shock resistance. He's got Soul Vortex and Soul Drone. So he cleans up the throne pretty easily. Uh, I don't think he even gets hit really. <laughs> if he does, he's just life draining it back. So he's kind of vulnerable here because he's sort of stranded, but I mean he has a bunch of gems and he's very powerful. Uh, but he's now on that Springhawk throne that's by Pythium and me. So interesting. Uh, that does mean he's no longer walking his stack towards me because he pulled it back to defend the throne that he took off me. Uh, which is also interesting, I suppose. Uh, Iria, we declared a new prophet, so I made a two other prophet, James Webb te Space Telescope. Uh, we got assassinated a bunch of times in the throne that Slaria is attacking. Lost an adept, adept, which is a bit annoying. Uh, also a crofter and a crystal sork. Our man fiend managed to fend him off though just by spamming skeletons, so that's good. Uh, we were of course patrolling that province, so we patrol out the uh, the other assassins this turn, so they are all died. They also gave us their amulets of the dead, which is quite nice because I've given those to our mound uh, fiends <laughs> who are reanimating, so uh, that's quite good. Now besides that, there are no real consequential battles this turn. It's just lots of uh, small exchanges. So I'll just look at stuff on the map, I think. Um, we did get sea uh, stormed in Shinoyama, but it was by one witch hunter and we <laughs> defended, so I don't know. So um, yeah, I'll just look at the map. So down here we had Maragnon moving stacks into Honoria and Bonelands. Uh, this only has two leaders, so this stack here in Honoria, I'm going to hit with Seeking Arrows this turn. Maybe we can just pop these commanders and <laughs> keep it stranded, that would be nice. Uh, Bonelands doesn't really have that many more commanders either. It's not in direct threat just yet though. But uh, yeah, that's what happened here. And yeah, he stormed Shino, but just um, Witch Hunter just retreated, so not much to see there at the moment. We had some more little exchanges down here. Um, so we got all my mountains. If you moved into Faircliff, we're just kind of walking around this area. Uh, Shepard's Have got attacked by a commander, but we had 10 PD there, so that's fine. Um, so all of this is pretty inconsequential. Here's where the Black Hawks hit. Uh, this got attacked by Independence, which is a bit annoying, but there we go. Uh, here's the Salarian exchanges, so the big stack moved to Lost Canyon range. Uh, the guys that were in Dovin did actually drop the mage and move across the river. Couldn't quite defend it, unfortunately. Killed some skeletons, though. And uh, up here we didn't get attacked by the stack in Bog of Beasts. It just sort of consolidated everything to Comsath. Um, so all we did was patrol out those assassins, which is quite nice. And that's it for the battles this turn. Besides that, events, we got some nature gems. Uh, we got a free banner of the Northern Star in Jural Woods. And a lab as well. But uh, yeah, we also lost the province. And a free hog knight. So yeah, spectral maid sitting in Jural Woods now. Uh, we're repairing the walls in Shinoyama, cured two afflictions, and killed some brigands in Bog of Beasts as well. And that brings us to this turn. Uh, right, I sent a message to Pythium and asked them, would they be willing to just make peace with me so that I can cast Vengeful Waters and kill a bunch of Salarian and Marignonian things? Um, and I haven't heard back from him just yet. But... I, I hope you said yes. I said I'll I'll stop aggressing and I'll I won't put any of the temples back on his border or anything. And all he has to do is just evacuate the stuff out of Anglovania. And it's not like any of his stuff will be threatened really. So I'll see what he says, but I'm really hoping we can just get up Vengeful Water next turn, because there's still a space. We should have enough gems to do it next month. So it would be nice. And if Pythium isn't dispelling it, we might actually keep it up as well. Depends though, because Slurry might also be able to dispel it, but we'll see. But we'll give it a shot anyway. For now though, I'm just waiting to see what he says. So over here, Ossery, you can see the stack is pulled back now to Corbion to defend it. I guess since his head is elsewhere in the world now. Um, so I'm not as worried about this stuff. I'm now expecting this stuff to walk towards the throne instead. So as I said, I'm going to hit Anoria with a few Seeking Arrows just to stall this for a second. And you may remember a few turns ago I said I was going to forge a black heart. 
Uh, it's on hidden camera here. He's been walking around as an assassin for a little while, just waiting for a stack to land on him. I'm going to head over to Honoria, see if we can assassinate someone here, if we strand some units and if this stuff moves up. We'll see. But uh, if we can get Vengeful up next turn, that would be very good. I think Vengeful's better on coasts and rivers and stuff, right? So this area is like really, really <laughs> dangerous. Well, we'll see anyway. I'm hoping that comes to pass. Down here, I'm going to defend Algold and attack Forest of Knights, so that if we don't make peace with Pythium, um, these trolls probably attack one of these, right? Probably either goes here or attacks this. So we'll attack Forest with a new uh, Shelord, a variety of patterned hour back in action, and we'll move to Algold and defend that with uh, X ray specs. So it will be in these two provinces, depending on where this thing moves. I assume it moves somewhere. So hopefully, we'll kill these uh, trolls. That would be nice. It's not just randomly capping some more provinces around here. Uh, and up here, so we're just going to chase the stuff in Forest of the Lost with um, a few little things. We've got them using filters and bespoke tripod. I'm running around here, just uh, taking back these provinces, I guess. Uh, and that's fine. Everything else in this area is going to move to Chillad. That puts us adjacent to Bog of Beasts, which is good because it gives us a retreat route if we do fight um, outside the fort. Although I think you can retreat into the fort anyway, so maybe it's not a huge issue, but we'll put stuff here. It gives us a retreat route. It also means then all of these commanders that are moving over can move into Bog of Beasts if they want to. So I've stopped patrolling here. Um, if this moves on to us, then you know we'll have stuff, extra stuff adjacent now. We can break siege with that. That probably uh, turn the tide in our favor. It also lets us see exactly what's in the stack when it hits the PD. Um, and it gives us another turn to save up some urgems to give out to the army, I suppose, as well. So yeah, Chillad's getting hit by... I mean, there's a lot of she lords here. <laughs> and there's even a little Boreal Priest as well doing some dust-to-dust -dust spam. So we're pushing Slaria back a bit. It's not super effective, but if I had tons of urgems, I'd just be appeasing people in with earlies and spamming seeking arrows and stuff, but I need to keep tons of gems for the uh, main army to be scripted. And we only generate, what, 10 a month? It's not a huge amount. Uh, that's the turn though for now. Miklan having this thrown, I think puts them equal to us, right? Uh, oh, not quite. Not quite. So we're still the leader. Need to figure out some way to kill this head. Because I don't think McClan's going to be able to reinforce this throne very well, other than, well, just having his god here permanently. If he still had S3, it would be really nice to just um, jump on him and <laughs> magic deal him to death, but he's S5 now, which is not going to work. And that's it for this turn, though. Still doing the usual forging, just making like vine shield, firebrand, random bits and pieces. Uh, but we'll see what happens next time. I'm really hoping Pythium lets us put up Vengeful. That would be nice. And we'll see what uh, Slaria does next over here. Uh, but that was turn 60, I believe. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.